If I don't bring it tonight, it's over. I want this music career so bad, and you know, I gotta look good if I'm gonna stand on a stage. Come on. I'm so scared a boob would come out. I've been saying it for years to get everyone together and give my mother-in-law and a father-in-law a picture. So finally we're gonna do it, and I think it's a good idea. Oh, they are good. Call you back, okay? Thanks. Oh, I'm so happy you didn't tell her it was me that was here. Oh, why? She doesn't like knowing that I style you too. Why would she be upset with that? I don't know. I guess she's intimidated. By, she's told you? you, like, don't ever style Melissa? Yeah. What's up, New Jersey? Jamie's in the house. Where are you guys? Hey. Hi, <laughs> How's it going? Oh, welcome here. Oh, man, what a day. What's up? How are you? Chris and his brother Jamie have always been very close, but they're very different. Chris is always the family man. Jamie wanted his independence. Ashley really idolizes Jamie, but he also had a concrete plan, a direction, a job waiting for him when he moved. Ashley has none of those things. She's being extremely lazy, and she's crying about it. You know what I mean? That's it. You know what? I believe in Ashley. I know, and don't take this the wrong way, she comes up like a bitch a lot of times. Ashley's smarter than all of us. She knows how to work her mother. She knows how to work her extended family. But one day, Ashley's going to wake up, and everybody's going to be gone. Then what's going to happen? I'm Linda, the photographer. Five minutes. So in my eyes, I can't see nothing. Baba, look, they're pretty ladies for you. I know how you like to look at pretty ladies. Yeah, Baba, go in the family room. We'll call you when, it, when we're ready. All right, love you. So, OK. Ready? All right, look, look, it's like you got to put her in. Do you want to put your pretty dress All right, on? Go, Adriana. OK. Yay! OK. Oh, Yay! How pretty, say pretty. Okay. I love you, I love my brother, I love your, you know, my nieces and nephew. We love you too. And I'm I want us to be a family, you know? Of course. Whatever her motives are, I feel loyalty to Teresa. I just want it to stay this way. So she gets a good one. It just makes my heart fill with lots of joy. Like, this is our family. It's my parents and my brother and I and his wife and his beautiful children and my husband and our beautiful daughters. You know, seeing all my friends and family getting along makes me feel, I have to say, a little bit complete. You think we got it? Yeah. OK, yay! Potatoes and eggs. Wow. Take. No, Greg, we asked you to move in so you do like this, and you don't. I was at Jacqueline's and Teresa's cookbook came in. And I was all excited to read it, because obviously I'm happy for Teresa. And in the very opening of it, it instantly says something negative about you. Girls in this family in books. <laughs> it's always a book. <laughs> always a book. It always all starts with a book. book. This damn family. What starts off, it says Caroline deep fried her meatballs. Deep fried, who does that? Does she serve fried Twinkies for dessert? You could deep fry a sock and it would taste better than a baked meatball. Deep I see you got Teresa's cookbook. I can't deal. believe the asshole didn't put a picture of us in here. She mentions that she wishes that her cousin would stop making lame jokes about her. <laughs> what? You so it's either make, you or me or you, you don't Rosie. Make jokes I don't about think Rosie's her. doing anything like that, but whatever. Okay. I need to be worried about, you know, what's going on with them. Where should I put it? Stop. She wrote something about me in her cookbook. In her new cookbook. Not the old one, the new one that just came out. What, what, what did she write? My baby sister in law copies off of everything I do, from the shoes that I wear to the chairs on my front porch. We have oh, like I random love, shots. I, <gasps> oh my God, that is beautiful. Everybody looks so good. Do you like it? Look at Dear Joe, Antonia, Dear Melissa. Look at my eye, I'm so, you don't even know. Why, what's, what's, what's going on? You seem a little off. Yeah, I am. Why, Ashley again? You know what, I feel like I haven't, like, 
been the greatest friend for you? Is her introduction. Caroline's as Italian as the Olive Garden. Oh, that hell no. Well, what's bizarre is, I was with her the other day at Jacqueline's. Mm -hmm. She never mentioned what she said about what you. she said about me. It finishes. However, I, I am a huge fan of Caroline Manzo, even if she's only one sixteenth Italian or whatever she is. And then there's more. Christopher, I hate to say it, but you're involved. This is a family cookbook. I do not condone young girls stripping to bring business into a car wash. Were you upset with Caroline when you were writing this book? No, why? It seemed like you were bashing her a little bit. What part? Uh, you said she was 1 16th Italian. But hello, that's like joke, ha ha. The biggest problem I have about this cookbook is what she said about Christopher. There's no reasonable excuse or explanation as to why she would do that. First of all, what what does it have to do with the cookbook at all? But there's no legitimate reason why she would take a shot at my son. Not my kids. Sometimes when you're loyal to a person at the bottom, they change when they get closer to the top. I'm glad that I see this in black and white because now I know what I'm dealing with. When I think of what defines the Italian culture, it's not whether or not you speak the language and it's not whether or not you make homemade wine. It's whether or not you're loyal and trustworthy, and I'd rather be my kind of Italian than her kind of Italian.